Welcome to another edition of Clovis in the Community. My name is Jeff Clovis, and I'm joined with Airdrie Ringette Extraordinary, Tara Craig. How are you, Tara? I'm great. That's awesome. Now, I'm about to suit up, as you can probably tell by the helmet. Don't have the gloves, and we're going to try some ringette. There's obviously some pretty big differences between hockey and ringette. And for someone who's interested in trying ringette or getting their child involved in ringette, some are, what are some of the core differences between the two sports? Well, the major differences are um, you have to pass over the blue line, so no offsides. And crease. Nobody can be in the creases. Um, another major factor is the uh, free passes. We don't have face-offs, so one team will get a free pass. You have five seconds to get it out of the zone. And um, surprisingly enough, ringette is more of a skating game than hockey. Yes, and that's the next thing I want to move into. So if someone's looking to get their girl registered for whether it be hockey or ringettes, they're kind of choosing between the two. What are some of the, would you say, the, you know, some of the perks of, of doing ringette over hockey? They're both great, but kind of specifically for ringette. Well, with ringette, I mean, it's girls. It's a girls sport. We have girls right from the age of four starting. Hockey doesn't start until age five at this point. Um, so we can get them starting really early, and they play with all girls. And not to say the boys can't play, it's just the majority of them are girls. Okay, well, I'm going to suit up. i got the helmet on already. I'll throw on the gloves and obviously the stick, and we'll see, we'll see what I can do. Now, I was practicing with Airdrie Ringette's under-9 and under-10 sting teams, but before I did any of the drills, I had to learn some of the different rules that Ringette has. With one of the Airdrie Ringette coaches, we have Cam Craig. Great man. He should be in radio. But we're trying to learn the differences between hockey and ringettes, and I didn't know there's so many of them. There's a lot. And obviously, the biggest one is the stick that we have here, Cam. So, no, no blades, just tips. Just they're tips. Just tips. And they have to be, they're like this, they're barbed. Yeah. And that's just to get uh, better traction on the rings when you shoot them. And now these don't have to be, uh, do, 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 do they have to be wood? Do they have to be composite? Or they, they, can be, they can be composite, just like this one. Like that one wood. Right yeah. Um, and it's up to the girls. But most of the girls use these, uh, the wood style. Okay. Okay, now there's obviously not a puck here. Oh, it's a ring. It's a ring. So uh, these are a bit squishy. Do they all like this through all different levels? They're all like this for every level. Okay. Um, there's no difference in size. These are every level from U7 all the way up to uh, Masters. Okay, and they go pretty quick. Ones here. They go as fast as you can with your arms. <laughs> all right, well, he's going to show me some stick handling moves. Now that I know some of the rules and techniques, it's time to put them into use and do some drills. Now after learning a few things about ringette and being shown up by 10 year olds, I think I'm ready to put my talents into a game situation.
goals, zero assists. That's a Clovis Brienne game. Hockey too.